Well, I'm pleased to be joined on primetime local news today by, I guess we're kind of, I'm almost in the future talking to the two of you from the Once When I Was Cool podcast. We have Dave and we with us today. Thank you. It's six in the morning, your time, and you got up to talk to us. Oh, we really, really appreciate it. Oh, g'day, and thank you for having us along. We would, we would have got up at two in the morning to, for the opportunity. We really appreciate it, to, the opportunity to get our, our word out there and our sultry voices. We just hope, we, for any, if you do have any listeners, we hope we're just not disappointing in the uh, flesh. And I know that with podcasting, you, uh, you develop an image of what you think people might look like. So I hope we're not too disappointed. Well, you know, just like working in, in radio sometimes, too, they say, geez, you sound a lot taller. So... <laughs> <laughs> Now this I, like, I never sound a lot taller. <laughs> <laughs> the secret's out now. Uh, Dave and we, we know what you look like. Uh, the voice behind the Once When I Was Cool podcast, which basically focuses on the 80s and what a great decade that was and, and just bringing back memories. And I want to first talk a, about how you got started with this because uh, you're both in the healthcare profession and have no real broadcasting uh, background at all. So if one of you wants to, to take the, the lead and answer, how did you start the podcast? How did the idea come about? Um, well, being we're both, we're, we say we're in healthcare, we're both registered nurses and we've both been nursing for nearly 30 years now. Um, and I moved from my comfort zone in uh, Brisbane in Queensland and moved down to, to Hobart in Tasmania. And part of being a nurse is uh, when you have, uh, at the end of every shift, when you have a changeover of shift, you have to count the, the drugs of addiction. Um, and during this count one, I, I said six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and they went, ah, 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 like the count from Sesame Street. And this young girl just looked at me and had no idea what I was talking about. So at that point, I realized, wow, I, I'm not as cool as I used to be, or I'm not as cool as I think I am, and I can't relate to these people. So it was sort of born out of there, and it was sort of 18, 18 months of discussion backwards and forwards. And um, I, I discussed with a guy that I work with, his name is Simon, and he's our producer, and he's the third part of our of Once When I Was Cool. He's, he's a real driving force that gets us out on the air. And then I had a discussion with Wee, who I'd known for a long time, and we both had similar sorts of thoughts, so we thought we'd, we'd get it going. Well, now we maybe I'll throw this one over to you and just talk about um, the topics that you guys pick. Did you sit ahead of time and come up with a list of things or was it just, well, let's talk about this today and, and this is what we'll go with? Well, we, we did put some ideas backwards and forwards and uh, we'd send notes to each other. Oh, what about this and what about that? Um, sometimes I do get a surprise. I think we're doing one thing and I'll get uh, something else coming, but um, as you probably realise, we talk about what we have done and what we experienced when we grew up in, in both sort of similar eras, but on different um, spectrums. Um, Dave was at the coast. I was in a small country town. So from, from that point, um, yeah, we just knocked ideas backwards and forwards and then we go pick a topic. We do limited sort of research and we say that a lot. We do very limited, if any. Um, he does, but not in, me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's more about um, it's more about our experiences, and you know, I tell stories about when I was growing up, the same as what uh, Dave does, and we just throw it backwards and forwards, and that's where it really comes from, and it just brings up memories. Even uh, people that listen to it go, "Oh, you're so right." Oh, what about this? Do you remember this? And do you remember that? And my uh, brother, who's really been my test dummy in life, goes. I forgot about that until I remember that. I can't believe you did that to me. <laughs> so, well, just yeah, it, to it, you know, it is really relatable, especially for anybody who was growing up during the seventies and the eighties specifically, you know, talking about the different haircuts. And I know you mentioned like having a <laughs> rat tail with a flat top and, you know, talking and a frolic. Yes, yeah, right. And you know, talking about cassettes, and you know, there, there's maybe something I don't know if um, people in the millennial age group would maybe understand, but people in my age group, it's like you said, you listen to it, and it brings back the memories. Have you had quite a good response from people just talking about, oh, hey, I, I, like you said with your brother, you know, I remember this, and then they send in ideas, maybe talk about this, talk about that. Have you had quite a favorable response? Um, we've had some pretty good response. And as we said, it's it's more the people that say, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And, and essentially what it comes down to is it's a conversation for us and it's nostalgia. And that's what we aim for is we want people to just think, oh, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. And 
there are things that we don't remember as well. Our, our 50th episode just aired and we did BMX bikes and it's been our bestseller. It aired two weeks ago and it, it's been our most downloaded po- podcast to date. Uh, and that was from a fan submission. We just put it out on Facebook and said, if anyone's got any ideas, let us know. And we hadn't considered it at all. So it's great to, we, we try and get as much fan in, well, I say fan, uh, but it's, you know, listener. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's a big fan of this lot, but uh, we, we just try to get as much engagement as we can. And just if people listen to us and go, oh, that's right, that's right, that's right, um, to be able to do that. And we do get, that's that's the sort of feedback we do get. So what is the goal for you guys with this? Is it something that you're going to make long term? Is it something that we just have, you know, a limited edition? Uh, you're going to stop at a certain point? Or is it as long as you're having fun, you're just going to keep going? As, as long as we're having fun, I think we're going to keep going. And that's been the whole drive, I think, behind this as well. Um, it's about us just putting our ideas out there and having people listening to it and relating to it, uh, triggering some hopefully mostly fondly, fond memories. Um, I, I think it's, um, and as long as we can still put up with each other, Dave and I, I think mm. it'll be okay. We've, well, we've, had that que- we've had that question, sorry. Um, we've had that question asked a few times actually. And um, people say, oh, you know, you can go and put ads in and you, can, and you can try and monetize it. But it's not really about that for us. We don't, we don't do it for as a business. We have jobs and we're fortunate in this climate to still have permanent jobs that we, we don't need to monetize it. And I think it comes across better without the advertising, not to say that we wouldn't do it. Um, but we just, it's just our memories and it's just a conversation between us and we're just grateful that people will listen. We keep it at a length of try and keep it between 20 and 30 minutes, which is a commutable length so that people can listen on their way to or from work. And hopefully that gives somebody, a, you know, a, a brighter start to the day thinking about the things that they used to do and the things they used to know and um, things that aren't there anymore that we, we still love and we still wish we're here, but, you know, for better or for worse, the world's moved on and hopefully we can still hang on to it in some kind of way. So whatever we're happy, we'll keep doing it. Well, I just want to thank you guys. I know in uh, Australia and Tasmania that it's obviously very early in the morning, but you took the time to chat with us. And I find it's just it's, it's a nice break from the reality, especially of things going on now. I can plug it in, like you said, on the way to work, on the way home. And it's, you know, you're thinking about other things. So thank you guys for, for doing this. I just think it's a great thing. And for people who are looking for more information or if they want to talk about topics or look for the podcast, what's the best way to do that? Probably I'll, the best. I'll let Dave do that. Yeah, we's, <laughs> we's not good at it at all. Uh, the best way <laughs> to get in touch with us is uh, through our, webs- uh, our website, which is oncewascool.com, or via our email, which is oncewascoolpodcast at gmail.com. Um, otherwise, reach out to us on Facebook. We've got a page there um, that's called Once Was Cool Podcast. Uh, that's where we let everyone know about our, our upcoming episodes and anything with, that we've got. Uh, we're trying to improve our social media and we've got a, a somebody behind us uh, boosting us and helping us with that at the moment. It's my niece. Um, so it's, a, it's an all-family affair at the moment from my end. But yeah, just send us an email. We'd, we'd love to hear from anybody who's interested. All right. Well, thank you guys once again. And I guess now you can go about your day. And uh, I'll keep listening. I, like I said, it's just, it's a nice break from reality and just bringing back some good memories. Maybe some not so good when you're talking about haircuts and fashion and that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's still fashionable. <laughs> yeah. And they were great at the time. Yeah. Well, good luck with the podcast going forward. And again, thank you for chatting with us today. Great, Stacey. Thanks thank for you having very us. much. Thanks again for having us.